All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, as I Craft Chest here, and I'm going to put together a video here, and I'm going to come back in the future and do a secondary video to this one uh, about the SCAR audio that I just installed into the car after I got done with a little bit of fellowshipping, doing my laundry, because I'm not as fortunate as a lot of people out there are to have a long weekend. I actually have to work tomorrow, so I have to use my days off sparingly. All right, because I like to make money and I got to go to work and uh, buy some more toys, just like we did with the uh, Crimson Dawn Dragoon lightsaber uh, that I really, really, and it's growing on me. I didn't want a solid one, but I got some ideas. And one thing I wanted to do before it got uh, too late, too far, and just procrastinate, I didn't want to procrastinate on this because. When I have the ideas up here, I think that's why my head hurts and I can't sleep at night, is that I don't put these ideas into actual, put them into effect. And so today, the weather was perfect. All the moons and the stars and the planets were aligned, brother. You know, we just had the winter solstice. And it just got me in the mood to do this project. And I got a couple of pictures that I'll show you in a future video of what I did uh, for the tweeters, but the position that I ended up putting these tweeters, and I know the lighting is going to be low because the GoPro, even though it was still daylight, it's really not that good in low light settings, I've noticed. So I'm going to have to do something about that as far as having extra light to show you guys things uh, under the carport. All right, I just, I thought that to my eyes, it was enough light to the GoPro. It looks like we're sitting in the dark. But you can still see what's going on. You can hear what I'm saying. And you can hear what, uh, what I have to say about the system. And mainly uh, the sound that you're going to hear. Uh, both with the subwoofers. When they kick in, it kind of subdues it. When there's vocals, it's really vibrant. And to me, I know the mic is limited on any audio device. This mic actually picks up pretty good. This blue snowball that I've had for years and years now is pretty damn decent because the video that I posted up about the review of the SCAR Audio uh, 6.5 and, and the uh, Silk Dome Tweeter uh, sounded pretty good. All right, the GoPro, it muffles it down. It kind of balances it out. And you're going to hear that ebb and flow as far as the audio. So just keep that in mind. And any rattling that you hear is the subwoofers in the back. Not a whole lot of that going on, but it's still detectable to the critics out there. All right, so just keep that in mind. You're limited to what you can actually hear. But me sitting in the car, tooling around with it, messing with the head unit, because my head unit, I didn't realize that it had so many functions that it does. I mean, I, I got the tape measure out and it's got, I, don't, I wouldn't even say, you know, DPS, DTS, on the screen it says DTS, so whatever that is. All right, but I measured out distances from each speaker, front, rear, uh, the side to side, the tweeters, the six and a halves, took a tape measure, plugged in everything into the head unit, and it sounds like the sound is like right here. Like I, I'm looking at the sound, it's like right there. Not here, but I'm hearing it right here. It's amazing. And I know somebody in the passenger seat, I'd probably have to, realign it and center it up and move measurements but it's incredible to what i hear now on the mic it's just limited to its technology all right gopro picking it up iphone would be different this mic would be different every mic is different the way they have them the diaphragms and everything else the way they pick it up digitize it and then record it all right so just keep that in mind all right and i'm going to make it as short as possible and it's gonna be kind of choppy, I guess, but I just wanted you to hear a little bit of a sample of it, and I'll get more footage in the future, uh, but quite impressive. As far as installing it, I, I was able to take a plate off of the actual install, and those six and a halves fit perfect in the factory location after I cut the actual ring off, because it's got this funky ring, but I don't wanna digress on that. But it plugged right in, all the factory screws went right into their place on the six and a halves, 
They're solidly secure, not rattling around or flapping in the breeze. The tweeters where they are, um, like I said, in a future video, I'll show you how I did that. Um, in this one, I just want you to get a sound check of this. It sounds incredible to me. All right. And this is just head unit power. No amplifier to the six and a halves and the tweeters. And it's still loud, clear, crisp, um, impressive. So good job, Scar Audio. And High Five Vega out there was talking about he wanted to check these out. And I will tell you, this combo that I got, the six and a half and the silk dome tweeter from Scar Audio. All right, I don't know, know the what is the TWS TSW zero one on the tweeters are really good. All right, they're not over. T -t 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 -t. You know, they're not melting your inner core of your uh, of your ears or anything. It's like balanced just right. All right, as far as the uh, six and a halves and the tweeters are concerned. All right, so without further ado. Let's get into this. Stay tuned. Woo! It's going to be awesome. I hope. For you. For me it was. Oh my gosh. It sounds so good. All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation. is I, Craft Chest, here on Christmas Day. And rather than visit, everybody had their own little family things going on. Um, I did visit and fellowship with some folks uh, today, but not for very long. I actually was working on a project in Project Defiant, and since it's been too cold to really paint and wet, and uh, I'm sure you can't see it, but out of here, out of this uh, window, everything's just so dank and damp and cold, I decided to do the car audio project from the SCAR audio component sets that I bought. The Silt Dome tweeters, the six and a halves. My radio actually has a built-in DPS-ish, I guess. It's got the distance and everything in it. I guess that's what that is. A DTS, DT by DPS, I don't know. But anyway, I measured everything out, balanced it out, and so I'm going to give you a little sound test right now as I'm driving. And yeah, it's going to be loud, but I want it to be because, oh my God, if this microphone picks it up half as good in this car, wow, it sounds incredible. Check this out. Let me turn it on. And I'm going to just listen to it the way I normally would drive around and listen. Audio. And by the way, the uh, mic is in the center, the GoPro's dead center uh, of the car. Like, look it out the windshield as you can see.
and gals that sounds really good in my opinion and while I have this going let me go ahead and pop this loose I'm gonna show you what I got going on here um, over here in this location and I'll get a close-up there's a little pop button and I'm not gonna do it now because everything's right where I want it but there's a pop button with a screw that goes into it and it's got a pretty good well in it and what I did was is I took and modified it didn't take any pictures of all that. We'll go over that in a later time because I don't even know that the light's going to pick this up that well. Of course, down at the bottom, we uh, put the six and a half scars. Never mind the trim being going here. I'm painting it, all the trim and all that. So redoing a new uh, custom face plate for some uh, different things there. But this is what this side looks like over here. And it's a pretty decent location. Um, I was able to take the tweeters out of the cups altogether. And in the future, if I decide I want to mold it over or whatever, but I actually think, you know, other than the color being different than the uh, than this, and eventually these are going to get raptored, so it will match later on. All right, the entire interior, uh, the trim down through here is going to get modified. These are eventually going to get raptor linered, so that's not a big gigantic deal. But there you go. And like I said, I'll turn this around here so I'll finish it off. And like I said before, um, my radio has the setting to where I could tell it distance and I measured everything out, uh, you know, left, rear, right, rear, front, right, uh, front, left, all that good stuff. And it sounds pretty good. And I just kind of played with it and modified it a little bit. Uh, frequencies didn't really have to mess with a whole lot. The base blockers fit right down inside of the, uh, the cover here so it's all in there i taped it down uh ran the wires they got clean butt connectors oh here's the paint job over here you can see sort of sort of kind of what we're going with here and there you go so actually i think it sounds pretty damn good and just for comparison's sake let's go to this song here and i'm gonna put this in the center i'm gonna put the, the gopro in the center and this is what i would normally listen this is like straight up center of the car at the handrest center.
boy, that's boys. I'll just turn it down. That's copyright for your music. Use it. So there you go. I'm sitting in the dark at this point. Uh, like I said, today, just fellowshiped a little bit, did laundry, did this little project, which only took like two hours, maybe two and a half hours. Everything is clean. It's not thrown together. Everything is uh, spliced in properly with terminals, with tape, uh, routed where it makes sense. It's clean. If I wanted to rip it out real quick, I could do that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off because they put to an ad. And so there you go. And I always try to separate my wires behind the head unit with a lot of slack. Uh, and what I mean a lot of slack, between 12 and 18 inches, typically. I know that sounds excessive, but using OFC wire, I can get away with it. It's a 12 gauge OFC from, is it from New, New Concepts? I wanna say it is from New Concepts is where I get it. Either that or Cable Direct one or the other. I get it from those two places, depending on who's got it at the time. And so let me power this down here. Um, one other thing, let's have a look at while we're doing this, is I have been cranking it. I wanna go see how warm the uh, how warm the amp is and all that, and we'll show you what's going on in the trunk since we're already out here doing a sound check. And we'll check it out and see. All right, so let's go into the trunk. <clears throat> Cause I have been cranking it all up and down the road here. Wow, I got leaves and stuff. So let's see, this amp ain't even warm. I mean, it's still cold. Subwoofers are still nice and cool. We can, we can crank on them. These bad boys right here. As you can see, we got the excess power happening in, in the back here. It's pretty clean. Got the crescendo, um, that uh, V2, or the S1 V2. And Sundown Audio LCS 12s back here. One of these days we're gonna go ahead and get those uh, those other ones that I've been wanting to get. But man, for real, I've been cranking it for a little while. It ain't even trying to be warm nowhere on here. I'd be curious to know how. I mean, there is not a warm. Maybe right there, just barely can feel warmth on that. So these right here ain't trying to be, and I've half been getting down. So there you go. And I've repeated myself like 20 times already. So let me get out of here. It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. 
Merry Christmas to you. And uh, I hope you got some cool stuff to work with today and tomorrow and all of the next year. Because we have that coming up in Apocalyptic 2021. Woo! Boom!